Good evening and all, hope you're doing well. This is going to be a short video because I couldn't get the FXCM train station to present the SSI data properly. There's no way, no way at all that DAX just went sideways like this, then boom. <laughs> okay, so that's very unusual, very unlikely, and so it's pointing towards a technical glitch. Um, so the fix, I think, uh, it's a guess, but I'm just going to keep it running. I, I normally what I'll do is just close the market scope and then you know just try and save a little bit of CPU resources and but I think what I'll need to do is keep this running so then it doesn't bug out uh, so if I show you US 30 there's no way the Dow Jones did this today uh, this is impossible <laughs> it just this wouldn't have done that you can see how uh, jagged it is not, we didn't go sideways like that so there's obviously a glitch with the terminal but hopefully it gets fixed if I keep the terminal on. If it doesn't, um, I'll have to probably uninstall the whole thing and restart, which would be a bit rubbish, but at least it should fix it. And if anyone's using the train station, let me know if it's bugging out for you. That would be really good. Very useful to know. Um, so currently caution, the technical scores are pumping. We were very low um, about half an hour ago. So things are turning around quickly, uh, as expected, I guess, because we are probably should be looking to buy the dips. You know, we are very much a big picture buy. And, um, you know, there's 15 people short the market versus the one person buying. But that, that number is reduced and it's going closer to zero, which is sending a little bit of uh, apprehension, um, you know, for the big fish, because they don't want to be on the same side as the dumb money. And if the dumb money are going towards being neutral or bullish, that's to be someone to sell. Uh, so uh, this is like an, uh, less than ideal scenario is if we go to zero and then above, because there will be have to be someone to counter that bias. And if the herd are neutral or long on risk, it's going to be very bearish, basically. So um, I guess it just can be a quick video, really. Um, don't forget, we've got the COT data that's probably worth looking at. And if you want to see the individual COT stuff, you can just come to the uh, the you know the tab that you want to see. And um, so it's worth noting with the S and P. I just clicked it at random, but the large specs are more short than they are long just slightly so there's a little bit of hesitancy but from the big fish the banks and institutions it's like it's saying they're a little bit undecided but if they were to pick one they could be going a little bit short i'm not saying that you should sell but it's just a little bit of information there from a, a large spec perspective and you know you can just not only look at the s p but anything that you want to perhaps gold even you can even look at the VIX or Bitcoin. Um, so I guess it can just be a short video and I guess I could just um, wrap it up, basket dashboard. Um, so if you remember this black line, if it points down, it's a sell. So that's okay. That tells us that they're going, the herd are going long. So we should sell. Black line is sell, negative, that's fine. Um, that's punishing the herd, yep. Um, yeah, that's punishing. That is punishing. So it's a sell. Remember, for the black line is pointing down, it's a sell. Correct. Correct. Up. Correct. Down. Correct. So um, this is using the weekly sentiment. So from Sunday night. So it goes to show it's pretty strong. It had a 100% accuracy. And there's a little explanation here too. Okay. Uh, trend line must point higher for long positions and if you're looking for short positions the trend line must point lower and look look at the percentage change it was correct in all currencies so it goes to show you the weekly shift in is very very powerful and uh, I suppose I could talk about the different tabs but like I said yesterday it would be a long video and um, wish me luck on getting the market scope fixed because this is part, this is almost like the bread and butter of the Quasi DB bulletin and our, our risk calc. Um, so the Discord, we use this um, 
we use these metrics. These have been fine. It's just this graphical element down here that's not fine. It's, it's bugging out. There's no way we went sideways like that. So I haven't populated the analysis in Discord today. And that's the first time we haven't done that in several months, um, a long, long time. So we've done that every day, but there's not much point giving you that because it's obviously erroneous, it's, it's invalid, it's bad data. Uh, but this is fine, and this is what we're using for the risk calc. This data here feeds into the uh, risk calc, it feeds into that. Okay, and obviously that's what we're gonna use when we want to buy the dip. And so we're currently caution, and we may well go back to fear or um, euphoria, pending the technicals, because we have to remember the big picture we are by. However, the 24 hour change is knocking and shifting the big picture towards neutral. And like I said, just to repeat, is if the herd go neutral bullish, it's gonna be very bearish. Okay, because that's a very rare situation and it's not an ideal scenario for the big fish because then they'll know where they heard, uh, where they're sitting on the fence and uh, they totally don't want to be on that side of the fence if the dumb money are doing that because there has to be someone to offload the positions and to take the other side of any transaction. And we're talking about millions, million, hundreds of millions of dollars in retail, you know, uh, volume. So obviously it's not going to be, uh, it's not the be all and end all. It's not going to be an absolute 100% guarantee that we're going to fall, but it'll be a very, very strong sign that we're going to have a big, heavy decline when that big picture goes to neutral or positive. Oh, and also we can talk about the robot. Um, basically we just, uh, we had um, two positive trades and one negative. <laughs> so it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay, it's just going slowly, but uh, you know, it's, it's very passive, which is good. It's not gonna blow anyone's accounts. It only opened up three trades. And so we could theoretically look to increase the sizes, which I think is probably a sensible approach because we're probably not gonna make that much profit if we just keep it as it is. So if we increase the sizes, which we can afford to do because it's very passive, it doesn't open that many concurrent trades. And we've seen historically it doesn't do that so it's like a passive sensible bot so i think we can probably ramp up the size in a little bit this week we'll keep it at 007 um and then next week we can go to eight then nine and then ten you know the, the weeks uh, preceding um and, and going forward so it's okay it's not it's not amazing but it's positive so it proves that the timings are all right and um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So if you're testing, thanks for your patience. And um, we'll probably look to go live um, pending, you know, we can probably ramp up the sizes and see how we do then. And then if we go to like a, an okay size and we're all right with our profit, uh, the free margin, you know, the margin percent, then we can probably go live because it's, it's proven to be very safe. It's proven to be quite reliable. It's just, it doesn't like this, um, very erratic stuff, you know, coming down to take stops because our top stops are uh, quite tight, but I take profits also tight as well. So we'll just have to see how we go. So apologies for the no analysis on the uh, indices. Um, it was a good one about the boss dashboard that would have resulted in a lot of profit if you took that. Look at the end, <laughs> they uh, that's really ascending, isn't it? So, um that's it. So I'll wrap up now. Remember to trade safely. Any questions, let me know. And if you want to sample the sheet, you can. It's it's available for uh, a free seven-day trial. And it's no, you don't need to uh, renew. You can cancel it. It's not a problem. And um, that's it. If you want to join, you'll be more than welcome. So I'll speak to you guys soon. And uh, wish me luck on the FXCM train station. And it should be okay if I leave it on, perhaps. I leave it on and when I come to do this video this time tomorrow, it shouldn't bug out like that. Hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed. I'll speak to you guys later.